Hello everyone, welcome to a mango haul. I haven't bought anything from Mango in a really long time. Um, I like Mango but I just always forget to look. Anyway, I decided to do a little shop and show you guys some new in bits that I love. Um, and you guys can let me know what you guys think of the items. I haven't tried anything on so I don't know what any of this looks like so it may be a fail it may be a surprise who knows we'll do it together you guys seem to like the H&M haul that I did this way so I thought I would do this one this way um if you're new hello my name's Charlotte if you want to subscribe please do I'd love to see you here again um but without further ado I'm gonna get into the haul also do you like this lighting I don't remember how I had the lighting in the last video so we're just kind of rolling with it hopefully it's okay I think it's all right I think I think we can deal with it anyway Let's go on with the haul. I'm diving straight in and pulling out this white shirt. Now I have a white shirt from Zara and I really like it but it's not very oversized and it's great for wearing like open or wearing with like tucked in or it's just not always the right item if I want an oversized vibe. So I saw this and I thought that looks like a good shirt. Um, I think it's class, it's oversized on the website, so I went for a small, um, I probably could have gotten away with an extra small because it's quite big, but for the way I want to style it, I think this is the right size, um, and it feels really nice, classic white shirt, I'm excited to see how this looks on, it's also got like really big pockets on the front, so it's quite a nice design detail, if um you like your details i wasn't too sure on it but we'll see how it looks on um i don't remember how much this was but it wasn't super expensive nothing i bought was super expensive because i don't really need to be spending loads of money on things you know i just want to get classic pieces and such a classic piece who doesn't love a white shirt you know this is the shirt on i actually really really like it i was a bit concerned that it might be a bit big but it actually fits really nicely and for the way that i'm planning to style it with a sweater vest over top or a knit i think it's the perfect size perfect length um my other white shirt hits like about here so it's just got that extra length which is really nice and i love a layering look in the autumn time so i really like this and i have undone it a little bit at the top because i hate wearing shirts like this it's just not it's just not me it's just not me um but yeah i love it i think it's really nice if you wanted something a little bit longer or a little bit more oversized then i would say size up but for me this is the perfect size exactly what i wanted um okay next in my box oh i don't know what's going for next this so you guys will know that the sweater vest trend is huge at the moment everyone's buying them and i'm really trying to find a good one now i do actually have one from zara which i love and another one from h&m which i love but i bought those after i bought this one so you know i was not sure what i was going for anyway i went for this and if you watch my h&m haul you will know i picked out one with more of a roll neck and it was in a gray color um and it had these kind of tie sides now i went for this one because i like the color and i thought you know what that actually would be quite a nice color it's perfect for my kind of style um but again i'm not entirely sure if this style is what i don't like or if it was the color of the gray one so i thought i'd give this a go see what it's like um i'm not overly sure if it will cut me in the wrong place even though i'm small i do like things to be more oversized so we'll see we'll see but i liked it i thought the knit was really nice and it feels really soft um and it's like a classic kind of color that's the thing with these kind of things i don't want to buy something that isn't like a classic color i want it to last so um yeah but i do really like the color of that one so i'm intrigued to see what it looks like okay so i've just popped the sweater vest on um over the white shirt just to kind of layer it up to show you how i would style it this shirt's a bit too big for this style of sweater vest so i don't think i would style it with this exact shirt but just so you can get the look of it i actually love the color i think the color is really really nice um i just need to try it on with like a different shirt or a different like layering piece because this just isn't working um and it is like i said it's quite small um in terms of length it's not super long or oversized so i don't know let me know what you think do you think it's a yes or no should i get rid of it i mean get rid of it send it back what shall I do? Let me know, because I'm not really sure. It's not 
my favourite piece, um, but like I said, I haven't tried it on with like the exact item, so I don't know, but at the moment I'm kind of swaying towards no, so let me know what you think. Okay, I'm going to do a bag next, because I bought two bags from Mango, and I'm obsessed with them, and I think I'm going to have to keep them, I wasn't, I was hoping I wouldn't love them this much, but there we go. Um, so the first one is this, oh god, I just <laughs> whacked it in my face. Um, this is like a bum bag slash, um, what do you call it? Like one of these, crossbody. Um, I thought this was such a vibe because this would look so nice if you're wearing like, I don't know, like um, kind of more of a jacket style jacket or a coat and you want something that's easy. You don't really want to wear a backpack. You don't really want to wear anything that's too bulky, but something that's easy to wear in front of you if you're traveling around the city or um, not that we're going anywhere at the moment, but you know, um, I just thought it was really nice. It's a really classic bag and decent size too. Um, I thought it looked way more expensive than it actually was. I think it was 19 pounds or 20 pounds. Um, but I just thought it was a really nice classic bag for the autumn winter time and you just can't beat like a classic simple kind of faux leather bag and this just does scream expensive to me so when I saw it I was like I need that in my life and I don't have a bag like this um so I thought this was a really good introduction and you could also wear it around your front section what do you call it around your waist <laughs> um if you wanted to but I think I'll probably wear it like this like over a knit or over like a coat or something because I think it's quite cool and I don't own that many black bags so I thought that is a reason for me to buy this that's how I'm justifying it and I love it so it will be definitely staying in my wardrobe I'm very excited to wear it um okay next I picked up this shirt now on the website it looked a little bit different so I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it now, but I haven't tried it on, so who knows. Um, it looks like this. It's like a stripy, kind of very soft, um, kind of flowy style shirt. Um, this is quite big. What did I get this in? A small, quite oversized. Um, I thought this would look quite nice maybe under a sweater vest or layered under a jumper or maybe just on its own. But the colour is a little bit more um toned down than it was on the website it looked a little bit more kind of orangey brown but i'm intrigued to see how it looks on i'm not the biggest shirt fan um i love a white shirt and i love kind of um classic kind of shirts but i was kind of intrigued by this so i picked it up um we'll see how it looks it does look very big so it might be like a dress on me so that might be a reason to say goodbye to it but we'll give it a go okay so the shirt is on I'm actually surprised. I do actually quite like it. I think it's quite nice. I think if you tuck it in a little bit, did more of like a slouchy look, I think it's quite nice. I just don't know how much I will wear it, which is something that I'm really making sure when I buy stuff that I really think about it. Like, am I going to get the wear out of this? And I'm not 100% if I will. Um, it's a really nice piece, and I actually think I will try and style it up and really decide whether it's worth keeping in my wardrobe but I think it's a really lovely piece if you work in an office I know a lot of us are working from home but maybe you're doing zoom calls or if you are going into the office it's a nice piece to include in your wardrobe because you could easily wear this in like a casual day setting if you work with some jeans rather than trousers so I think it's a really lovely piece and like a really nice transition workwear to evening piece as well um really really lovely and perfect for autumn um, I'm just not sure whether it is a piece that I will wear a lot, um, but I do actually really like the style of it. Next I picked up this skirt. Now I actually think I bought this maybe a year or so ago, and I ended up returning it because I had a different leather skirt that I really liked. Um, and I saw it again and I was like, do you know what, my style has changed and I don't actually own a leather skirt, or a faux leather skirt should I say. And I was like, do you know what, I'm going to try something new, I'm going to see what this is like because my style has changed a little bit and it looks like this so it's like a wrap style skirt with this like tie here now on the website it's tied at the side but this I did try on I won't lie to you I tied it around a different way and it actually looks really nice and I was like oh my god I love this 
Um, so this is just a gorgeous little skirt. It look, again, it looks really expensive. And that's the thing I like about Mango, is that the prices are really, really good, but the quality of the products are so nice, like expensive looking. And this does look expensive. Like I had one from Topshop, which probably cost the same, if not more, and looks cheaper than this. So I absolutely love this and it feels nice. It just feels expensive, a classic piece to have in your wardrobe. And like I said, I don't actually have a leather skirt in my wardrobe at the moment. I did have one from Topshop, but it kind of like died. So I need a new one. But yeah, I'm very excited about this show you guys what that looks like on because it's so nice. okay so i've just popped on the leather skirt um and i love it i've tied it like around the back because i just think it looks a little bit more flattering than having the bulky bow here um but that's just my personal preference um so yeah it's just tied at the back which i just prefer it's just out of the way i don't have to worry about it um and i've just teamed it with this shirt i probably wouldn't wear this shirt like this but it was what I had on, so I just thought I'd put it on. Um, but I love the skirt, I think it's really nice, it's really flattering, very classic, easy piece. And the good thing about the tie is that you can like tuck the little bits in so it doesn't really stick out too much, you know, it's quite discreet. Um, so yeah, I actually really like it and this is a definite keep, I cannot wait to wear it out. The last clothing piece I have to show you is this gorgeous padded shoulder tee. Now I love a padded shoulder tee. Um, I think they're just so chic. Like they just make your shoulders and your structure and everything just look so fab. Um, so I saw this one in Mango and I was like that, that is a kind of padded shoulder tee I need in my life. Um, I just love the colour. I think it's a really nice colour and I do love padded shoulder tees. I just think they're great. Um, I have a black one and I have a white one but I don't have any tops in this colour, like this exact colour, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a go, and I'm trying to change my neutral coloured wardrobe, which is usually creams, denim, um, like light brown colours, into like those colours plus different brown tones and different khaki and green tones, because they all kind of go really nicely together, but it's not like the bright colours that I never really like to go for anyway so it's nice to just inject a bit of colour but still being quite neutral which is what I love so I saw this and I was like that is a bit of me I love a padded shoulder tee I love um a little bit of colour she says um and yeah so I'm excited I'm excited for this hopefully it looks nice hopefully it suits me because I actually don't own anything this colour it's kind of like an army green colour in a way what colour is that is it khaki? I wouldn't say it was khaki. What is that? What sort of green is that? Sage? No. Either way, I really like it. I knew I would love this top. It's just such a me top. I love this kind of padded shoulder trend. Um, this would look good with literally anything. Jeans, leather trousers. Um, you can wear trousers. Like honestly, such a good piece. And like I said, it's a really nice colour. So easy to kind of add a bit of colour into your wardrobe if you're like me and have more of a neutral style wardrobe um but yeah i really like it and i think it's a nice transitional piece as well where it's a little bit warmer you can still wear this and feel a little bit more autumn but still cool in the warmer days am i making any sense i don't even know but i love it i think it's really cute now the last few items are accessories now i showed you a bag earlier well i bought something else which is very similar <laughs> And it's this bag. Um, I don't know what it is about this kind of quilted style, but I'm just so here for it. And this one's a little bit more neutral, a bit more kind of light. So for those more lighter outfits, this will go amazingly with. Um, and this is also more of a crossbody. So this is like your classic crossbody style bag. Um, and it's a really good length as well. Mine is on the tightest or the shortest because I've got a short body, but um, you can actually make it longer if you want to, which I love. Um, but I just love it. I think it's a really nice classic kind of bag. It's a really lovely colour. The quilting's really nice. It fits in my phone, which is amazing um and it's got like two little sections i just thought it was really cute i don't have a bag like this light um in a crossbody style i only have like those little shoulder bags so i thought this would be a really nice addition because sometimes you want like a really light bag 
but you don't want to be carrying it on your shoulder you want something that's easy so i just thought it was really nice and this was 19.99 which i think is a really good price um for a little bag and it looks expensive it looks nice um and just very classic so i love that and the last thing i picked up was these masks now you know in life we are all wearing masks and it's nice to have different ones so you can switch them out you can reuse them etc etc um and mango have loads and loads of masks if you're looking for some nicer ones nicer prints etc so i picked these ones up and they came in a little pack of a black one and a leopard print one i thought leopard print would go quite nicely with my neutral wardrobe which is why i went for this one but yeah how cute so that is everything I have to show you. Let me know what your favourite item was. Let me know if you're going to buy any of these items or if it inspired you. And if you'd like me to style anything that I've shown or anything I've shown in previous videos, do let me know because I would also do that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all in my next video.